Now let's look at this question. It says A's salary is 80% of B's salary. What is B's salary as a percentage of E's salary? Right? Be careful. A's salary is 80% of B's salary. What is B's salary as a percentage of A's salary? Now there are two methods of doing it. One is pure theoretical method. Let's see. When I say A's salary is 80% of B's salary, that means A is equal to 80% of B. This means A is equal to 80 by 100 into B. Alright. So, from here we get this relation. A is equal to 80 by 100. B, or we can get A by B equal to 80 by 100. Or from here we can get B by A equal to 100 by 80. Look at this carefully. What is the question asking? What is B's salary as a percentage of A's salary? That means we need to find B salary as a percentage of A salary into 100. So this is our answer of the question. So the answer is equal to B by A into 100. We have already calculated B by A as 100 by 80 into 100. So B by A is 100 by 80. Simplify this. So 25 times, 24 times, 4 cancels 100, 25 times. 5 into 25 is 125 percent. So that means we say that B salary is 125% of A salary. This is one way of doing this question. Let's look at another way. The base method. That is more important actually. Base method. What we need to do? We need to take one value as the base. How do we decide? In the first statement, whatever is come after of will become the base. So A salary is 80% of B salary. So let's assume that B salary is 100 rupees. So, A will become 80% of B, that means 80% of 100, that means it is equal to 80. You can directly write this, without writing all this, you could have directly said A is equal to 80. Now read the question, what is B salary as a percentage of A salary, that means you need to find the answer as B upon A into 100, just put the values of A and B that you have taken. B is taken as 100, A is taken as 80 into 100. So, you will get the same answer 25 times 24 times 4 cancels 125. So, 5 into 25 is 125 percent. Right. So, this was one good question. Right. You can apply any one of these methods, but be very clear either apply this method or apply this method. Do not mix them. Okay. Now, let us take one more. 